we are going to be working on our moon phase practice. In the blank circle, draw the moon phase we would see if we were on Earth in the diagram. And then write the name of that moon phase on the blank line. So once again, as we talked about yesterday, you're going to find where the sun is. So here I can see the sun is right here. We have the moon right here. And we have the earth right here. So if we remember, we're in alignment here. Okay, so we're in alignment. So we want to always find the moon that is in right next to the sun. And we know that that moon is in first position. So for this worksheet, it's helpful to know where you're at. So we would know this is first position. Okay, right here would be second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then eighth. Okay, so remembering our positioning. That will be very helpful. Okay, so over here we find the sun. Here's the sun. Here's the earth. So the moon that would be right here would be the first position. Then I would have second position, third position. Because remember, we're moving counterclockwise. Okay? Counterclockwise. So that's very important to remember. Here, I see the sun. The moon would be right here for one, two. So I move counterclockwise. Okay? So when I look at that, I know then that I'm in position one for this top one, and I know that in position one, I am not seeing any illumination because from Earth, it looks like it's all shaded in. So it looks like it is all black to us. Okay, and position one, we know, is the new moon. So then we're gonna go over to this one. We can see that we are at position three, like I told you. Okay, so we're at 90 degrees. And at position three, we know we are illuminating on the right hand side, because we are waxing. And at the 90 degree angle, we are half. So I would shade in half of it would not be illuminated, and half of it would be illuminated. So this would be first quarter. I want you to try the rest of these. And you're going to be dropboxing this so we can see how you're doing so far. So remember, it's important to look for where the sun's at, look for where the earth's at, find your positioning of where position one would be, and work your way counterclockwise. In this question, we're going to use the diagram below to fill in the name of the moon phases for the position indicated by the letter. So once again, we're going to locate where we have the sun's rays. We have our alignment here, so we know that this is, this is position one. And we're going to work counterclockwise to count all the way to eight. We are going to then put the names of each of the positioning over here, starting with the new moon. Okay, in the space below here, we are going to draw a diagram with the sun on the right hand side. Okay, so here's our sun. So that we, if we were on the earth, we would see a waning crescent. Okay, so you're going to draw the positioning. So we're going to draw our earth. Okay, and then we're going to put the moon in the correct position for a waning crescent moon. In the space provided below here, we're going to now put the sun on the left hand side. We're going to have our earth. And now we're going to put the moon in the position that we would see a waxing quarter moon. Okay, waxing quarter moon then is going to be our first quarter. So in this one, we're going to be looking for a first quarter, which is called our waxing quarter moon. That's our half moon. Good luck. Dropbox when you're done.